Hi everyone, welcome to one more episode of Wells on TV. Today we're going to talk about feeding frenzies and why so much life aggregates around these food buffets. Feeding frenzies are some of the most spectacular events in nature, especially oceanic feeding frenzies, which are magical, action-filled shows. Oceanic feeding frenzies consist pretty much of small preys, like school of fish or krill, attracting bigger predators very hungry that will accumulate more and more in the area, resulting in a big and sometimes chaotic feast. Yet feeding frenzies don't happen out of nowhere. They are caused by supernormal stimulus. The supernormal stimulus starts at the bottom of the food chain with the phytoplankton. Phytoplankton will accumulate in the surface of the ocean when they have enough nutrients and light for photosynthesis. And all of these will bring in the zooplankton to feed on the phytoplankton. And the accumulation of zooplankton will bring in fish to feed on the zooplankton. And so on and so on, all the way till we have all the big predators in the area feeding all together in the same feeding frenzy. And this sometimes can result in thousands of predators in one area all feasting together. So certain predators in the ocean feed on the same prey, which might result in competition among them. That is, predators that feed on the same animal will try to scare each other away or even attack each other. But what we can also see happening is facilitation and tolerance, where predators that feed on the same prey will tolerate each other or some even, sometimes even make it easier for other predators to eat the same prey. And this is many times when you see the feeding frenzy happening. Certain predators in the feeding frenzy, like dolphins, will many times try to isolate the fish school, trying to put them all together, while at the same time, together with tuna, they can attack the fish from below, bringing all the fish up to the surface. And this will allow another group of predators to jerk. The marine birds, like the shearwaters, that can after dive one after the other to try and feed the fish. So this way we end up having species like dolphins, tunas, uh, shearwaters and even whales all feeding there. For example, here in the Azores, we sometimes when we go out to sea, we come across uh, schools of fish like sardines or mackerels being attacked by groups of dolphins like common dolphins and also tunas like yellowfin tunas, bringing all the fish close to the surface. And right at the same time, we see all the birds, the coral shearwaters, diving and trying to grab their part of the feast. And many times we even get to see some whales feeding in the same area, like say whales, bloodies whales, or even humpback whales. So in other words, feeding frenzies are one of the few events in the ocean where we can see all these top predators aggregating in the same area. As soon as they detect the prey accumulation in an area, they will all go there and aggregate and attack the fish all the way until they get rid of all that school of fish and then they disperse and continue their life. Well guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this one more video of Whales on TV. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Goodbye!